Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Confrontation with me, Bregaton. Let's continue our search for information. The game is still crashing on me. I'm hoping that after this mission it stops because it is a real pain to record. Forward. Understood. For the night. He's gonna run towards me. That's fine. That was a really good stun on his part. That's a nerve answer. Off. For the temple. Let's see if I can save. I can. At once. That's a good sign. Straight away. Yes. At your service. Yes, in the name of Merrin. So be it. Silence this guy so he can't heal himself up. Understood. Grab these bandages. Straight away. Single Belisarius. Another resounding success. So the combat can't save quite yet. All right, let's see what happens. So good. All right, Darius is the tankiest, so we'll send him in to disarm the poison. Assuming that's what these levers do. For the night. Or they spawn enemies instead. I don't like him being provoked. All right, we'll send Lothar in next. Let's just pull back. Ah! 
get out of the poison, get our health back, and then finish the levers. How more do we have left? One, two. So that opens the door. There's still one more lever, though. Service. What if that opens up a secret room? In the name of Merlin. Or just spawns this guy. Straight away. I don't see any chests or anything in here, so I'm not sure what that last lever is supposed to do unless it's just for more experience. Understood. So be it. At once. Take one more quick look around just to be thorough. I don't see anything. Right, can we save? Nope, it crashed. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. And welcome back. Let's hope the game yes. doesn't crash on us again. I was able to quick save right here. Good. Does that mean I'll continue to be able to do so? And auto save. It was right down the hallway. At once. Well, that's not frustrating at all. For the temple! Forward! Straight away! I would probably handle four enemies. But I prefer to Understood. isolate them if I can. Oh, there's another group, of course. Let's taunt the Neuromancer so he can't crowd control us. Now the group's coming back. is down. Let's collapse on this group, and then we'll take care of the Janoctis last. At least that's the plan. It's okay if Landwisk goes down by in low there. Let's take this guy out. Who's he attacking? In the name of Merlin. Forward. Forward. I could have gone better, but where we fought six enemies there, it's not too bad. For the night. All right, let's get our health back. Understood. Straight away.
Yes! Or at least one enemy is in here. Forward! A lot of enemies in here. Uh, the Neuromancer is the big threat. Let's go after him first. Only oh, because he can crowd control everybody, which we do not want to deal with. Kind of worked out. Landwis. Yeah, another pretty difficult fight. My positioning was poor because my two backliners got taunted. If that hadn't have happened, I don't think anyone would have dropped. At your service. Even with the uh, the stun on Lothair and Darius. Good. Got a bunch of glyphs. What can we do? Constitution. Uh, we'll give dodge to Landwis. And faith regeneration to Landwis. I guess, uh, Constitution to Lothair. I don't think she needs agility. I guess it wouldn't hurt. At once! I'm gonna try and quick save. And it crashed. And welcome back again. I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, but the glyphs you pick up are semi-randomized. You always get the same types of glyphs, so if you pick up two defensive glyphs, reload and activate the shrine again, you'll still get two defensive glyphs. But the effects are randomized. So I just activated this again, and we got different glyphs. Oh, we have critical and strength. I'll give Darius strength. Uh, critical will try to save for Lanwis. All the way down there. Uh, we also got Constitution and Physical Armor. He has a decent Constitution score. I'll give him the Armor instead. And Zelia can have the Constitution. I guess we can give her Critical as well.
Mana, faith, and cooldown. Let's give him cooldown. And that should do for now. For the night. At once. Understood. Good. For the temple. Away. Yes. All right, nothing in those rooms. We still have about a quarter of the map to At go. Forward. Understood. Yes. Straight away. All right, I think we have Good. to come back to this later. I'm not sure how much damage that's going to do to my character, so At once. not going to risk it quite yet. Your service. For the night. Forward. It's one over there as well. So I think this deactivates it. This deactivates it. Just not hurting us? Yes. Interesting. At your service. All right, pretty nasty fight ahead of us. We need to take out that fury first. Straight away. I need to get into a position to silence her. We can do this and drop the meteor right here. Pick up Darius. By the God of Fire. Not sure what this guy's doing, but if we stun this one, we shouldn't be hit anymore because he's obviously not attacking us. Some equipment upgrades. Two armor and two weapon. I don't think we've leveled up enough to yeah, use any more points. Here we go. We we'll give her some physical armor because she has none. Well, she has less than none, actually.
And we'll give him some physical. Try to keep them on par with each other. Yes! Forward! And that's just a dead end. Cool. For the night! So we should be done with this side, and we can head towards the red dot. Landwis has a uh, shoulder spike now. Hey, so does Zelia. It'd be great if it's auto-saved each time you walked across it, but Understood. that'd make the game a little too easy, wouldn't it? So be it. Crossbowman right there. Yes. I don't know if he'll attack us from across the way or not. Please. At your service. Understood. I think we're ready for any more... Oh, we do have some offensive glyphs, right? Agility for Darius? I don't think so. I guess we can give it to Zelia. Uh, magical armor, constitution. Well, you know what? We have it. Let's go ahead and give it to him. And I guess we'll give Zelia agility. Good. This actually looks like a dead end. Let me go take care of that crossbowman real quick. You 
got it, buddy. For the temple. Yes. Straight away. Crossbowman is coming as well. Uh, we'll focus on the Belisarius first. So I think I'm just going to make a push for the end of this mission Understood. and hope that this crashing problem resolves itself with the next mission. At once. Says Sor Fear, he's the uh, lead Scorpion researcher that they're talking about in the uh, dialogue previously. The Nermancer is going to mess us up here, though. And the game crashed anyway, so I didn't even try to save. <laughs> I'll be right back. And welcome back again, again. At once. Saves are working, game isn't crashing, things are looking good. Yes. For the temple. Right, so we need to focus down the Neuromancer first, because he has access to so much crowd control. And then probably the Mechasiatis because he has that AoE knockdown. Good, he's stunned. Uh, I actually wanted to pull her back before she cast that. That's okay. Uh, Darius, get your heal off, please. In fact, if I keep you alive with some bandages. So I'm not entirely sure what just happened there. Well, I know the knockdown happened, but everybody just stopped attacking over and over again. As soon as his Lamus can tank for a little bit because he has a decent dodge chance. We could attack this guy. Low fair. Don't know why I couldn't select the low fair there. Uh, 
I do want to get Zelia moved back so that she doesn't get knocked down. And voila! The Akalanians, led by Darius, come face to face with Melian, Khan, and Nemrod. The latter wear the livery of the Temple of the East. All the Griffin commanderies are battling with the Mechasiatis clones, and the two groups have little time to waste on words. Deep inside enemy territory, the Griffin can be overcome at any moment. Darius absorbs Melian and his men into his squad. During their exploration, the chaplain and his companions found several orc bodies. The technomancers had carried out sinister operations on the poor creatures before letting them bleed to death. More worrying still, Melian discovered that these guinea pigs no longer met the needs of their tormentors. The alchemists of Durs have armed a large expedition to travel to Brano Kor, the orc homeland. The information collected by the Akalanians creates a dire picture. Sassia Samaris's research has led her to use orc genes to stabilize the metabolism of the Mechasiatis clones. The Technomancer has armed an expedition which is en route towards the Brano Core, homeland of the orcs, in order to renew the stock of her gene library. Without any more clues as to the mysterious stronghold where the Technomancer puts her plans into execution, Darius has no other option but to follow the enemy convoy. Taking the initiative will have to wait. Very soon the Ivory Dunes will give way to the canyons of the Brano Core. Brano Core means land of the brave in the Orc language, and the animistic tribes who roam the canyons are united under the totem of the Jackal. For several years, a precarious alliance has existed between the Temple of the East and the Orcs of the Jackal. The Saihars are a common enemy, sufficiently well established in the region to justify a temporary rapprochement between the ways of light and those of destiny. Such an alliance is seen as a heresy for many Griffin, and the same goes for the Braves of the Brano Corps, who see it as against their nature, and thus destined, sooner or later, to implode. And so it was, with some apprehension, that Darius and his company readied themselves to test the strength of their links with the Orcs. Okay, of course we'll bring Darius along. Uh, Khan is a really good DPS, in fact, maybe better than Zelia, though Zelia does have the AoE. I think it's hard to get away from our initial squad. I can always mix it up later. Uh, this is just the beginning of chapter two, and there are three chapters. All right, I'm gonna call it here, and hopefully the game doesn't crash anymore going forward. But again, we will see. Either way, for now, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.